have that Tifu is very comfortable being that bottom part, actually what we're looking at right now, that bottom community is an area that he has liked to land at for a long time, but now you just see him in his ultimate high ground taking shots. He is so meticulous with his shots. You rarely, rarely see him miss with that assault rifle, and he is exactly where he is happiest, on this ultimate high ground, and uh, we'll see if anyone penalizes him for this right now. I heard a rumor about Tifu actually. Um... I, I heard that every time he clutches a duo win and he's playing with Cloak, he makes Cloak call him daddy. Not sure if that's real or not. Uh, Chris Beeman all the way up top, floating in slowly. Only 25 HP, which means a storm ticker two is gonna be real, real bad in a second. 75 total, a mini and whatever else is in here. One, zero builds. Okay, I was, was slowly counting through that and there's there are no builds remaining. Which means Chris no is gonna have to builds. try and, he's gonna have to, yeah, if he can't get an elimination himself. <laughs> in an infantry rifle. He is not in a good situation right now. Six Trying to feet. use other... Oh! oh! Okay. Listen, we're about to pay the price for the commentary oh! here. I oh! oh my gosh! Chris, relax! They're children! Please, dude! <laughs> Pushing his way through a triple there. Still oh, alive, still going. My Lanta, despite getting three eliminations, he's only able to pick up 10 builds from that. <laughs> wow, Chris. Uh, I want to play and he just went down too. Tifu all the way to the top, still beaming players from above. Still yeah. beaming Hello. players from above. Oh, oh, finally you see someone building behind him. They are trying to take out this brick that he's on. He's noticed that, oh, he's had this redeploy the whole time. We didn't have to worry about him at all. Tifu's like, nah, I got this, don't worry. Pushing his way, six elims right now. 12 builds left, maintaining high ground, but he needs to save some to be able to come down. He does have access to that redeploy, but every time you use redeploy, you are so vulnerable. Oh, double Three layer builds rate. left. The branch he's on right now, rather vulnerable, but there are so, there's a number of builds directly underneath. It should not be a big deal. Looks like he's taking shots up. Does skip on his way down. That redeploy gonna come in yet again. Saving from the drop lands oh. directly next to this player and a redeploy yet again. Curious how many charges that thing has left. Oh. Gingerbread really gets caught off guard. Jelly Paw goes down with a 190 pump shot. Tifu taking damage from above and only one build left. Does have the poison traps, can secure the area that he's going to seek up another pump shot. 100 and Saker goes down to the SMG swap. Follow through there. Eight Elims. Looking at nine <laughs> Elims. Lucas doesn't stream anymore. That player goes down in the rotation. He just picked up 83 builds, Lupo. Stop. That is exactly Burn. what he wants to be finding right now. He is getting everything he needs exactly when he needs it. He is on the low ground now, that, but he is totally comfortable here. Nine eliminations, top five. What is he going to do with I, this? I fully agree with the all caps. What, what? in the middle? <laughs> In the middle of the pack there. This is gonna be an interesting game as Turner sitting on nine elims, 20 points total, a plethora of ammo, plenty of minis, plethora. still has redeploys, which means mobility is possible. Doesn't have anything that'll get him instant high ground, but it's enough that he, is he, if he is up top, uh, he can make his way away there, getting a couple tags from underneath. Player all the way up top. We have five players remaining. Yeah, Victory Royale within grasp, to be quite honest with you. It would not surprise me. Turner is one of the best players at retaking high ground. So if there's an opportunity for it, which uh, lo and behold, <laughs> here we are. The immediate edit, push out, and establishes the high ground advantage. Looking down from above, lasering. The, the, the metal needs to be sought after for uh, to be broken as fast as possible because if it gets too much <gasps> HP, and he actually does sneak a couple shots through the builds, gets Suzano, the elimination there. 10 Elims, three players left. This could be a 22 point game if Tifu gets both of these and the Victor Royale. What in the middle of the pack? Nine builds left for Tifu. Three players left and he's looking for just one shot from above. Still applying pressure. You do not want the players at the bottom of this build to get too much time. He falls in, builds himself back up. The quick jump and catch off of the pyramid just high enough to get the landing all the way up top. Drops in the oh. campfire, gets 100. Oh, follow man. through and the shot is what goes down. Literally reading my mind. Oh, 22 points for Tifu. Oh my lord. Turner just made that look like a pub game. There's, honestly. A, there's a reason he is as popular as he is, and he shows us all exactly why. Kitty, absolutely ridiculous. I, I gotta say, it doesn't matter how high he goes. Yeah. He will not be eliminated by fall damage, but he could still oh, get beat by somebody in the rotation. That's really early for this, though. Very dangerous redeploy. Multiple players underneath. Luckily, didn't look up. 
Yeah, and somebody else is going to start challenging. I was going to mention how this fight, the fight was getting very extended. It's not a risk to falling, not a risk to get eliminated by falling. But look at his materials now, only 17. So we'll see what he's going to be able to do. Whether he's going to be able to hang on to this high ground. If somebody decides to fight him, he's not going to be able to fight for long. And then also just blocking and just general fight mechanics. You need those materials to be able to do what you want to do. Now down on low ground, Kyer, nice edit to peek through towards the gatekeeping. Is he going to be able to get it? Yes, he does. One player was joining him from above. He's going to knock him down, force him to join the fray as well. But the edits, he falls Ooh. right into his wall. Nice That's play. Kyer got real lucky that player dropping directly next to his own wall. Meaning the quick edit, pump shot, and the elim. Looks for another, blocks him off. Maybe an edit, doesn't happen. Gonna rotate underneath this young calculator, the player that he's got all the way down uh, up above. But look. They're look, showing us. Look at I the know what's look, happening. Look, 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 yeah, yeah, <laughs> guess who's all the way in the sky? Tifu. And look, he only built one piece on that entire tarp out, only one floor piece because of that glider redeploy. But saving materials, Tifu, nice shot there. Taking one elimination. He's got two to his name right now. What else is going to be able to find? There's two players left for him. One versus one versus one. Taking some AR shots, pressuring through. He needs to maybe build a, make, force a hole through. Not finding any materials yet. He only has three builds left, but they're starting to engage in the AR shots coming from above. While that engagement is happening, Tifu, you've got to do it here. This is it. He could qualify based on a win like this. So what can you do? Nice shot on the Devious. One more to find. Tfue, can you do it here? This is four points still on the board for him if he can get this elimination and the victory royale. It's ODFJ against Tfue. What is he going to be able to do? Remember, three materials for Tfue. This is a clutch of a lifetime right now. This could be punching his ticket to New York. Can you do it, Tifu? Can you do it right now? He's trying to force his opponent to fall. 48 builds up on high ground, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. He's got to knock him out. He does do it. ODFJ falls all the way down, and Tifu with the victory royale up all the way back. That was such a rough position for him, running out of builds and then knocking him down on high ground at the last second. What a play there. That could have been it, Lupo. Ball, he had basically no ammunition left, waiting till the last second. Second, oh, you're literally just now hitting placement points. That's oh, okay, Miggy. Uh, goodbye, friend. I will think about you. Uh, but yeah, we are just now hitting placement points. That's how dense these lobbies are. That's how everyone is trying to make sure and maximize every possible moment. Every second they're alive is an opportunity to get more points on the table. We see down below Hart. I believe I saw Tifu's name in there as well. Uh, he's going to continue to move now. He's got that Chug Jug Sundown. That's just not valuable here. You, it's a 15 second time before you can slurp down the whole thing. No one's going to give you that opportunity. No one. Well, you got to chug down that whole thing, Zeke. But again, you're not going to get that amount of space, even if the storm rotation comes off. It has the big shield too, which sometimes you don't get enough room for that. So instead, sometimes the best healing is just being super aggro. Gonna push his way into the box, and it's down, and there's already ramps anywhere. So Keith's trying to a build slurp. his way out of it, but everything's built. Get the slurp. Everything's yes. occupied, and there you go, Zeke. So happy there to drop the chug. We're into the top 15 as Brush picks up <laughs> J-Mac. Hart picks up Infamous as well, and I mean, Hart just flicking shots all over the place. You can see him very much so on brand, has the Valentine's Day wrap, has the Hart back bling, and I mean, now putting shots down on to Brush I Spy, trying to work his way down from the rift to pull you have right on the tarp beneath. Hart going to continue to work his way down the tarp, trying to find whatever he can. And right now, that's just a little bit of space. All right, popping the slurp a little early. But maybe he's saying, look, I'm just going to go full aggro here, so I, I expect to run into someone. I expect him to crack my shields, and I'll be ready. A 136. He could should have saved the slurp. Didn't even need it. Hart's playing out of his mind right now. Ziff there in the high ground. Finds it in Elim. He's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Reyna, who's in the critical. Mikey as well as low. But look who's up above. Tifu yet again. How are we always in this position? Tifu just completely dominates the high ground. Someone called him the king of high ground, and I believe it. He's diving down sundown. So he used find the him. rift. He used the rift just so he wouldn't have any fall damage. Not having a redeploy this time, but always having something to make sure he can work bottom or top down because he only has one build. So the loadout, three boogies, the epic pump, 
and then the rare suppressed SMG does have the ability to work through already sitting on 43 points from the two elims and if he can get one more he'll be in that last placement threshold trying to track through the storm finds the 84 shot can he convert wants to push through doing everything he can holding forward and in the end it's the jump shot taking out Hart who actually ended up inside the top five so now Tfue in the top right Mickley or Mickey in the bottom right after he picked up Calypso Tfue has all the lead in the world high ground health advantage shield advantage gonna pop the slurp so we'll have that ticking Mickey is gonna go for a hero play. He his head go in he's gotta close this out that's it there's no way he has to find an angle and instead yep Tfue just gonna find whatever space he can as soon as he hears the panic shots coming out from Mickey that's gonna rush him but 49 points, keeping him inside of that top six distance as much as he can. And